kiddos, I am back. Welcome once again to the Chickadee Tree Creations. Today I am going to teach you how to do a half double crochet. And I'm going to show you how to chain, turn in a row once again. Don't be intimidated. The half double crochet is very simple. It is like the height of a double crochet but the same motions as a single crochet. So really easy to do. So now, you got your chain of single crochet from last week, right? Still got it? All right, let's start. You're going to take your chain, you're at the end of the row, here's your slip knot, there's your last single crochet right there, and you're working yarn. You're going to take your, your yarn, you're going to take your hook, you're going to yarn over, and you're going to pull it through to chain up, start your next row, and then you're going to turn your work over. Okay, so now you got your chain one right there, and there's your first working stitch right here. For a half double crochet, you're going to yarn over first. You're going to stick the head of your hook in that first stitch right there. See that first stitch? You're going to yarn over again. Turn your hook so you can catch that piece, and you're going to pull that through. You've got three stitches on that hook now, okay? Don't get scared. It's easy. Now, your very last part you're going to do is you're going to yarn over one more time. You're going to take this piece here, and you're going to pull it through all three of these. It makes an interesting texture. Most patterns don't call for half double crochet. At least not that I've seen. But it makes a cool texture on the finished piece, so it's fun to learn. So you're going to take the hook now, which you got your yarn over. You're going to catch that piece with your hook head, and you're going to pull it through one, two, three pieces. So you look like that jumbled mess there. I don't know if you can see it very well. My phone, my camera is not focusing. Focus. There you go. Looks like a jumbled mess a little bit, but it's okay. It's pretty when it comes gets done. Okay, so you have done your first half double crochet. And you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to yarn over. Here's the top of your next stitch right there, that V there. See your V's? Do you see your... Come on, phone. Okay, seriously. Okay, see your little V's there? Those are the tops of your stitches. Once you've yarned over, you're going to take this piece here, and you're going to put it right underneath that V. So you got the V right on top of your hook there. Okay? You're going to push it through. You're going to yarn over again. And you're going to catch that with your hook, pull it up so you have three, one, two, and three. Yarn over one more time, pull it through all three stitches. Okay. And you're going to keep doing that. You're going to yarn over, push it through the top of your stitch, yarn over and pull that piece through. I know it doesn't like I'm yarning over. I just, I don't, I haven't done that motion in a long time. You're going to yarn over again, I'll try to make it more pronounced, and you're going to pull it through. Okay, and you're just going to keep doing that till you get to the end of the row. Yarn over, push it through your stitch, bring your yarn to the front of your hook, catch it with your hook, pull it through. One day my camera is going to focus. It can do it. You're going to yarn over, and you're going to pull it through. Keep doing this, yarn over. Push it through, catch your yarn with the front, pull it through again so you got three, and yarn over again, pull through all the way to the end of the row. Yarn over, push it into the stitch, see it's got to the back, pull your yarn to the front, you're working yarn to the front, catch it on your hook, pull it through, yarn over to the front again, and pull it through all three stitches. You can do that all the way to the end of your row. Just keep trying. If you need to pause the video, so you can get it figured out, that's fine. We'll wait for you at the end. And just keep going until you get to the end of your row. Makes a very pretty stitch when you do this. Because every other row, it leaves like a little line across your work. It's an interesting little stitch. I, I, I mean, I use it quite often making washcloths and stuff. You just keep doing this. Yarn over. I don't know. Work's getting twisted. Yarn over. Push it through your stitch. 
Come on and focus, camera. Still not focus. Come on and focus. There you go, baby. You want over against you got three. You want over and pull it through all three, all the way across. And I've reached a bumpy place in my yarn. This is a hanging spun yarn, so it's kind of weird in places. Yarn through, over, yarn over, pull through. Yeah, okay, see what you see right there? I split my yarn. Sometimes you have to kind of pull out to figure out what happened there, and that's what happened for me. Get that piece back on there and pull that back out because I split right there in that weird bump. So you don't want to do that. It makes your work look kind of weird sometimes. So I'm going to pull it tighter a little bit. Yarn over. Push it through the stitch again. Pull it up. Yarn over. And then we'll very carefully pull through so I don't catch that snag again. There you go. Didn't catch a snag this time around. You're going to do half double crochets all the way to the end of your row. It's a very methodical stitch. After a while, you just find your rhythm. And it just works. I mean, it's, it's a very wonderful stitch to use. I still hope everyone's enjoying crocheting. If you can learn these basic few stitches I'm showing you here, there are so many things you can do with them. I mean... Crochet actually has more stitches to learn than knitting does, I think. It's been a while. But, um, I crochet more than I knit. But, you can just do so many things with these little crochet stitches. You can combine them and make little things that pop up, like popcorn stitches and puff stitches. They're my favorites. Alright, here we are. We're at the end of the row. Now, you can see this weird little bump here. That is where you chained up. This piece right here that's sticking out, right there on the end, that is not a stitch. But this piece right here, right there, is a stitch. So make sure, you, oh, right there. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at recording yet. That right there, that's your last stitch on this row. So make sure you get it. Yarn over, pull through, so you have three. Yarn over again and pull through. And there, that little bump kind of just blended right in with the rest of your stitches. Shouldn't be sticking out too much. It might stick out for the first few times you've worked because your tension is going to be a little weird until you get to find your rhythm. But it's okay. If it bumps out a little bit, it does. If you wash it, it kind of evens out. And if you block it, it evens it out more. But there you go. You have finished a row of half double crochets on top of your single crochets. And they're starting to look pretty. See the little bumps and the textures? Oh, see, here it is. There's on the back right there. That right there, yep, just drop my hook on your back of the stitch. See this little piece right here? That piece is going to be your little row, your line across your work when you come back around. I'll show you better next time when we do the double crochets, okay? You'll see it better. But that is it for this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Um... Just keep working at it. If you need to rip the row out and start over, just back the video up and follow the video. But I will be back in a few days with the tutorial for the double crochet. I hope you enjoyed.